Hi guys, Terry here. Hey, yesterday I went to the uh, Great Lakes Scrapbook event in Columbus, Ohio. Um, this is the company that they started up in Novi, uh, Michigan, and then they uh, took over the Columbus uh, event a few years ago. And um, they haven't had it the last two years, um, but it was really wonderful to go to it this year. Um, there was a lot of uh, vendors there, surprisingly. Um, I'd say maybe a third of the place, the booths weren't uh, sold out, but um, there was a lot of space, open space, and spread out, and uh, it was really wonderful to go to see the vendors that were there. So let me show you some of the stuff that I got. Um, I, got I got a little bit of scrapbooking stuff, mostly stamps, and uh, yeah, we had a really good time. So um, I had bought my ticket ahead of time, so they gave this gift um, at the door when you um, went in. And this is a set from uh, Heartfelt Creations. Uh, it's a nice little rubber stamp set that has um, some trees, trees and branches, and then this little cityscape there. I don't know if you could see it on here. It's a little cityscape, so really cute. And uh, so that was a nice, pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting to get some stamps. And then um, they had a table with some grab bag stuff. So we were each grabbing a couple of things there. Um, but they had these mosaic moments dies. So I'm not sure what company was responsible for putting stuff on that table that were little freebie grabs. But um, got this little heart border, loops, waffles, flowers, leaves some crosses, and then this one here, 2 by 2 die, and then this little guy. So, um, I, I'm, like I said, I'm not sure what that uh, free table was was sponsored by, but uh, we had fun going through the stuff on it. So, um, Stampers Anonymous was there, and they had a lot of Tim Holtz stuff. So, my friend Carrie told me about this craft knife, and I liked it because the blade retracts. And it came with three blades, so I got that. That was $8.99. I don't know how the compares, prices compare to if you'd gotten them at a store, but what was nice was it was stuff that you just don't see in the Joann's and the Michaels. It was very, you know, unique stuff. So, love that about it. These were $10.95. This was Tim Holtz's um, set here. I think these are a few years old, but uh, I love anything with a typewriter on it, so I thought that was handsome. And this is just some rubber stamps. Same with this one. Look at this one. It's got a pretzel, beer stein, a beer bottle. I thought that would be make, make a cute manly card. And I just love that it's got this little uh, dimensions on it. And it just looks very uh, architectural. So those were cute. Um, I got some stencils. So I thought these were kind of masculine. The gears this little circle pattern and this. I'll have links to all these products on my blog post. Um, those were $6.99. I kind of felt like stuff was maybe marked up a little bit because I think that you are paying the shipping and the tax that these companies, um, you know, when they get the stuff. So I don't mind that. Um, also at that Stampers Anonymous I bought some Distress Oxides, colors that I didn't have. So I got Mowed Lawn, Wild Honey, Seedless Preserves, Festive Berries, Black Soot. So I'm going to have to get another uh, container, one of those tins that holds these. Uh, this one's Barn Door, Speckled Egg, and Shabby Shutters. So four of these I bought at a booth by a company, I forget what the company was, but they had buy three, get the fourth one free. So that's the hard part about this. You almost have to walk around and see all the deals before you start buying, um, just to see what's what's a good uh, price on stuff. For the most part, stuff's very similar priced. Um, so also at that Stampers Anonymous, I bought a set of the Distress Oxide reinkers. So um, I've got my pads. I don't use them a lot. Um, but I did want to get the um, Distress um, reinkers, so I got those. Um, I think these were 59 but there is um, 12 of them in here. 
so I thought that was good for $59. Um, there was a booth called Treasure Box, and they had cute little uh, cutouts. Uh, my grandson loves Spider-Man right now, so I thought for Halloween, if he does Spider-Man, I'd do um, that layout with him. And these dies are usually priced um, at a pretty good price point. Like this one's five dollars. Um, I might have this on the Cricut, but um, I just love that they had all the colors and all the layers, and it's all put together. So love that. This one's cute too. My first haircut. So one of them got their hair cut, and I'll, I've got pictures from it, so that'll be a cute layout. Again, love the colors on it, and this, again, was by Treasure Box. And um, like I said, I'll have links. But um, one of the um, booths that we really spent a lot of time at was Stamps by Judith. And um, she's got both the... Um, cling stamps and also the um, wooden blocks. So um, I really recommend to people to get her catalog that has all the examples in it and then you can start putting pieces together. I got the little snowman, snowballs. I got this zebra, where's the oh, zebra and wild about you. So I thought that would make an adorable card. So she's got little critters. This one is a gate, and you use this to set up a scene. And she's got stamps so that you can make your own scenery. And then it's just, you know, it's a unique um, card when you make it because it's um, one of a kind when you use all of the pieces. So she's got um, flowers and pots and grasses and leaves and flowers and then you color them all around that but in the catalog it'll show you a sample and then you get ideas from that and then you start stamping so I got the coordinating dies for this too because I've seen a card where she has this door open up on the front of the card so love that so I got that gate and the die and then she's just got the cutest critters so I so just love this company so love her stuff Oh, so the other thing I'll say is, oh, and when you, I think you ordered a certain amount and then you got to pick from a bin of uh, blocks that were free. So that little heart was for free. Gotta love the freebies. And then I bought this basket one. So um, I try not to buy the block ones, um, but some of these shapes that are just nice and versatile, it's nice to be able to just stamp that and then do all your stamping with the flowers and make a card out of that. And then she has these cute, um, I forget what she calls them, but these nice little stamps are just, you could just quickly, um, you know, blot them onto your stamp pad ink, to ink it up and then do this across your page. So she's just got leaves and grasses and more leaves and more little grasses. And like I said, if you look at her sample cards, she's just got the cutest, cutest um, ways that you you ink these up and then stamp them on your card and make a little scene. So she's got these bigger size, and then she's got the little ones. I think the big ones were $3.50, and I think these were $2.50. So these little guys, I bought a safety pin, a leaf, a star, a bumblebee, and this is a plug. This plug is so cute because she has this greenery that she makes a Christmas tree with. She draws the line and then you use your little one that has the uh, light, light Christmas light on it. Dip it in different colors and um, sprinkle lights throughout your tree. And then at the end of that line you put the plug on the end. So, gets us every time. That one is just, it's just so cute. If it'll focus on that. So, just too cute. So, love these. So, um, maybe next I'll do a video on how I store some of this stuff. Because if you don't store it so that you've got it out in your area and easy access to it, you just don't, you don't, don't get out these toys and play with them. So, uh, the next place I went to was uh, Want to Scrap. And I want you to look at these close up here, if I can get the camera to focus. They're little 
fruits. So there's little oranges and melons and watermelon slices and grapes and just the cutest little kiwis. So hopefully the camera is picking that up. They are so, so, so cute. So couldn't resist that. So this was the first thing I saw, and I think these were $2.99. But if you bought, um, I think if you bought four, one was free. So this one's little sunflowers. This one's just little jimmies. This one's little snowflakes, and it's got some little pearls. So these are for shaker cards. And then here's little Valentines. So if you've seen those cards where they have a layer of plastic and then the plastic is filled with little goodies, uh, that's what these are for. So thought those would be fun. I don't mail those cards. I would just give them out, just people hand them out instead of um, mailing them because it does take extra. You'd have to put them in something to mail a thick card. Um, this little store I forget the name of this store. I have it on my website, but they were selling uh, 49 and Market. And um, I thought these stamps were beautiful. Love old clocks. Look at the moth. So I thought this was really pretty. Love bicycles. So I like that stamp. And then this is rub-ons. And I hesitate to get rub-ons because they do... Um, if you don't use them right away, it's something that does not stay long. Um, it was it would lose its stickiness. Um, but I thought this was cute. This was ten dollars. I think there's six pages of really um, pretty greenery and look at those butterflies. And then this is pretty with the um, just the newspaper print. So I thought, I, it just caught my eye. I thought it was beautiful. So that, I mean, you could just put that on the front of a card and put a saying and it would be a completed card. So, love those. You could use them on a scrapbook layout too. So, I thought those were really pretty. Oh, here's more from that uh, Want to Scrap store. So, I thought these were a really good buy. Um, my sister-in-law said she found them a little bit cheaper online. But their deal was if you bought two, you got one free. So I love that it was um, so many different sizes. So this is for slimline cards to cut your paper to the size of what you want on the slimline. So you can see it's got a whole bunch of sizes there. This one's scallop. And then this one has two scallops and then these little uh, banners. So love that. Want to Scrap was a new place. I hadn't heard of them before. So I thought those were um, really nice. These don't have an item number on them. But they had every shape and size. And I picked up those three. Like I said, it was two by two get one. And then um, I love... Um, Creative Creations. They're a store. I think they're out of Texas. And they have these. Maybe you've seen my video before where I made something with these. The idea is it's a um, real thick outline of this sticker. And you put that on the white glitter paper. And then you paint it with your markers. You color it with your markers. So this one is uh, flowers in a teacup. This one has llamas. I can't resist the llamas. And then this one is a potted plant with some sunflowers. So, and then I bought a little bit of the paper. So, this was two sheets of paper for $10. I think you can find this cheaper online um, or a bigger pack of it. I think they give a sample of it so that you can get started. Um, oh, and then this one's a teacup. So, I got four of them. So, these were only $2.40, and then I thought the paper was expensive. But, um, just a really cute way to make a fun, colorful card. I'll link below to my other video where I show how to put this sticker onto your um, glitter paper and color it. So those make really fun cards. And then I did get two um, scrapbook layouts. This one was cute here. So this company is called uh, Treasure Box. And I'll have their, a link to their website. But this was an Easter layout. I thought that was really cute. I tried only to buy layouts that I knew I was going to have pictures for this year. So I know we're going to do an Easter dinner. And um, 
this one here is a day at the zoo and I thought these animals were really cute so um, they had just beautiful beautiful they have a monthly uh, scrapbook um, kit that you can subscribe to and they send you um, three two-page layouts um, the show special was twelve twenty two ninety nine to join the club and then um, you got to pick an extra set of the three two-pagers um, but their their pages were beautiful um, I'd say about half the um, booths there were for scrapbooking and then this was paper that they had up at the uh, front that you could take to um, I think because companies had stuff printed for 2020 and 2021 I think some of this stuff they were just passing out because they had it printed and um, you know it had been canceled so love that um, this oh this is from scrapbookcustoms.com and I know they've got custom papers um, out there for um, scrapbooking so so that oh and then I got one more thing let me show you this um, inspiration in bloom that we go and scrapbook at their house um, up in northern Ohio can't say enough good things about um, staying at their place it's a beautiful facility they feed you if you stay on the weekend and um, she sells 31 so I thought this was a nice uh, cute size for a tote and I thought if you're carrying anything heavy like um, a cuddle bug or um, maybe taking a whole thing of um, stamps you could put it in here so this is it's like their big giant tote but it's a little one so this one has gnomes on it and it's kind of decorated for 4th of July and she had multiple colors but I had not seen this size tote so I thought it was a very useful size so I got one of those and I think that's everything so um, it was so fabulous just to be out and about and back in a um, you know a vendor situation where you could go from vendor to vendor and see new products so um, wanted to show you my, my goodies that I got and then uh, maybe later in the month I'll do videos on how I store stencils and um, inks and markers and and scrapbook kits and stuff like that so thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button it helps me on YouTube with my numbers and I appreciate appreciate you watching so have a great day